In this example, we'll distribute a grid of particles on a curved surface. Here is a simple mesh that I have created. And uh, we'll create a PAT volume in grid mode and we'll bend it to uh, follow the surface. In order to do this, we'll need a path. So I'll take one edge from this uh, mesh and I'll create a linear spline out of it. At this point, we can uh, select this plane and center it vertically through the mesh, so it passes exactly through the middle along the z-axis. Uh, then we'll create a plane, which will be uh, the generator of our particle. So uh, from this plane, we can uh, change the color to something that is uh, better usable for particles, but in this case, the yellow color is actually good. Uh, and then we'll create a PAT volume out of this. We'll uncheck the jitter position option and uh, we can enable the shell and set it to a very small value, a thickness of 0 0.1, so it creates only one level. And then we'll uncheck the viewport spacing, so we are using only one type of spacing. We use a path deform to move this uh, in space to follow the curvature of the surface, so I uh, will set it to 50%, move to path along the y-axis, and now we can select the plane, which is currently hidden, and set the width uh, to 70, which is a little bit more than the height of the mesh, and then the length of the plane uh, will be slightly more than the total length of the spline. At this point we have the general distribution of the particles, we just have to remove the ones that are not over a mesh. So we use a world space modifier version of the magma and the world space modifier version of the delete operator. Now we can create a selection channel output. We use the nearest point, we need geometry input and position, which will be in world space. And so uh, we'll pick the pl uh, plane 001, which is the extruded mesh and uh, then we'll take the distance, absolute value, greater than and a very small value like 0 0.1. That means that if the distance to the surface is slightly more than uh, 0, uh, we're going to delete that point. And as we can see now, the grid can be changed and the points will be always preserved if they are over a uh, surface. In some spacing doesn't produce a uh, valid uh, distribution in PRT volume uh, because we're creating only a single uh, layer of particles but with more spacing settings uh, we can get the particles sitting exactly on top of this curved surface.